Today we're going to be assigning Easy Drummer 3 instruments to individual tracks in FL Studio. This video assumes that you've already purchased and downloaded Easy Drummer 3 and moved it to the relevant plugin folder. So let's open FL Studio. Go to File, New from Template, Minimal, and Basic. You can save this project if you want, but later we'll save it as a template. So what we want to do is we want to come up here to the channel rack, hit the plus button, and select more plugins. If you successfully downloaded Easy Drummer 3, you should see it here. Of course, you need to locate it into a file that FL Studio recognizes as a plugin location. And FL Studio will recognize it here in the plugin manager. Double click Easy Drummer 3. Perfect. Go to the Mixer tab. So here's the drums that we have. This is just a default kit. You can make your own different kits and save them as you see fit. The process is always the same. And down here under the faders is the channel assignments. So as you can see, the bass drum has a front, a rear, and a sub mic. And we're gonna leave those on inputs one and two. And then we'll change the snare mics to three and four, hi-hat to five and six. All of the toms would be going to the same track, seven and eight. Seven and eight, etc. The ride to nine and 10. Overheads, 11 and 12. We'll send the ambient mixer track to 13 and 14. And then we're going to mute everything else. So now if we go up here to the combo icon, hit processing, and hit auto map, it assigns the track automatically. But FL Studio does this weird thing where it moves everything over one track. So I'm just going to go ahead and renumber these myself and assign them manually. One and two are my kick, and I want them on track one. Snares three and four, and I want it on track two, and so forth, etc. I think uh, track eight is as far as we got. So let's go back to the plugin and hit some of these. So as you can see, the kick is hitting on track one now, bleeding a little bit into the snare mic, and that's okay. It's also bleeding into the ambient and overhead mics. So let's mute those. So now you can see where our snare is hitting. We'll right click this and rename it snare. Enter. This one is kick, enter. And so forth. So let's unmute ambience, turn it up all the way, and from this point on we'll just control it with this fader. Overheads are still muted, unmute that.
rides are also getting picked up by the overhead mic. The toms. Hi-hat. Snare. Kick. Perfect. Let's close this. Rename this track Drum Bus. Perfect. Right click, create separator. Go one over, right click, create separator. Go over here and select a color that's easy on the eyes. Now this is gonna be our drum bus. Select the kick, right click the carrot, and route to this track only. Select the snare, right click the carrot, route to this track only. Over and over. Okay, perfect. Now all of our drum instruments are routed to the drum bus. Wait, something happened with the overhead. I'm screwing all this up. Now all our drums are labeled and routed to the drum bus. And our drum bus is going to the master. Let's right click on the channel rack and open up the piano roll. I wanna punch in a test pattern and see what this looks like. I wanna be able to hear the ride and the hi-hat. So now we have all of our drum instruments sent to the separate mixer tracks in FL Studio. I suppose what you should do is raise all the faders in Easy Drummer 3, all of these, all the way up, and treat it like a reverb send where you just crank the reverb and the plug in and then control it with the fader and the mixer. But ultimately you should mix them the way you feel or whatever your personal workflow is. So now because we have a drum bus, we can put whatever we want on here like a crazy reverb, if that's your thing. And everyone's favorite, Sound, Sound Badizer. Badizer. You get the idea. Okay, let's get rid of all that because we're not done yet. Let's color all our drum tracks. Now what you should do is select File, Save As, Documents, Image Line, FL Studio, and project templates. Give it some crazy name like Easy Drummer 3XXX template thing. And save that. Okay, let's close it. And we'll open it back up 
wait for my default to open. Click File, New from Template, and there it is. You're ready to go. So this is just the way I do it. I'm not a professional, but it's always good to watch how other people do things because you know what? That's how we learn, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And most importantly, keep recording.